They were doing videos. Uh, I don't know like anything about this character. Ko 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 Koala. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, Koala. Koala. Hey, he's like Mario. I know he's a Namco character. You see, a, he has a Pac-Man hat. Oh yeah. Before we were recording, I took a nap because I was really tired. And you didn't uh, want to be beaten by me? No, I just... You wanted to be refreshed? I, no, I... Yeah, I, yeah, I wanted to be refreshed. Um, and uh, while I was trying to sleep, I heard you and your friend in the uh, next room over playing with balloons and pretending that when the balloons were letting air out that it was you guys farting. <laughs> and I I considered getting I considered getting up and going and telling you like, guys, I'm trying to sleep. But I was yeah, like I didn't know that you were asleep. I thought you were Yeah, I, I know you didn't know, but <laughs> um I was like, you know what, it's not worth it. <laughs> so he's got this ring necklace thing that can shoot beams, grab, and turn into a sword, and ex explode. I'm bad. Aha! Uh -huh. Homie stock? Nope. Dang. <laughs> Fine, I'll just have to win then. No. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I didn't win. So about winning. Yeah. <laughs> the winner is Big Oof. Can't stress that enough. He won. <laughs> He's the winner, and Plaz isn't. Y yeah, I get it. <laughs> I, get I get it. it. I lost. That's okay. I'll just have to win. <laughs> yeah, the recovery is weird. I haven't gotten used to it either. Klonoa looks like a rejected Sonic the Hedgehog character. I'm gonna say it. I mean, you can see it, right? Yeah. Yeah. My favorite has to be... Uh... Where uh, Sonic is trying to kick Amy out of his house. What? Yeah. Uh, he's like, uh, I don't like you living here, and you're really annoying, and I don't like you. Uh, and then she was like, How about we? How about we try to approach it from a nice, positive way? And he says, Okay. When when you live here, it makes me feel angry <laughs> because nobody in this house likes you. <laughs> No. Meme! No. It is now illegal to, to use, use your, your meme. meme! Yeah. Alright, there, we said it. Now we can move on. Don't worry, I'll just have to win. <laughs> yeah. An explosion. Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I know, right? That explosion gets me every time. Oh, thanks for Come saving on! me, baby! No! Yeah! I didn't realize that this was their forward tilt. That's really funny. What a lovely day it is. <laughs> I hope I don't trip on anything. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. The only thing worse than tripping on something is slipping on something. Sure hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> brawl, brawl be like. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. Alright. Fine. I mean. <laughs> You're starting 8th grade this week? Is that right? 7th. But they're oh, okay. the same thing. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I I was I was gonna say like if you're starting eighth grade like what the heck? <laughs> like, yeah, like, like a lot of time has gone by. Yeah, I was like, there's no way you're starting high school next year. Oh my gosh! Ha ha! Big funny, ha! Huh? <laughs> Shut up. Nice read. Thanks. I you, you said that like before I threw out the read, as if you read my read but did nothing about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So last night, um, la Jake, you know how for the last month I have not been able to play Smash Brothers? Can you maybe just let me enjoy it when I can play the game by not doing that? That'd be super cool. That'd be like a really cool thing you could do. Here come that boy. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, did you see that combo? Dude, that's insane! <laughs> I won! No, you didn't. Yeah, Clonoa! 
That's me! If you can say the name right, I'll let you say that you won. Kwanoa. Kwanoa. No. Kwanoa. You only had one chance. You, you, you missed it. Kwanoa. Yes! There you go. You got it. Kwanoa. You still didn't win. I wish all big oofs a very bad evening. <laughs> like the Bugs Bunny meme. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish you all a very good evening. <laughs> In Australia, declared war on emus. They did? And they lost. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. That was... Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I won! To the Shadow Realm with you. Can you not? <laughs> oh, Noah! I did it! Shut up! Oh, right, okay, so earlier I was trying to talk about this, but you kept, like, messing with the stage select screen. Uh, last night, you were, uh, playing with a balloon, and, uh... Oh, yeah! <laughs> you, you threw the balloon, and, uh, it deflated and, like, let all the air out. And it flew up into the light fixture in the ceiling fan, uh, in the living room. And, uh, it took us- how long would you say it took us to get- to, to get the balloon minutes. out? Like, it, it took, like, a, at least a good 20 minutes, yeah. Maybe 30 on, like, the far end of it, yeah. Well, we're gonna try to get that rubber band I, out. Oh, yeah, there was apparently also a rubber band and a sock in there. Somehow. How did you even do that? <laughs> how long how long has that sock been in there? <laughs> I think like about a month. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, if it's been like a year. <laughs> I didn't I think I like threw it in there and then I was like, well it's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's so like you. <laughs> like, well it's not my problem. Like oh my I gosh. can't I can't do anything about it. Like, mom and dad would, like, let me pick up a ladder, which they wouldn't. I don't know about that. Dad lets you use power tools in the garage. He only lets me use the drill and the sander. Those are pretty dangerous tools if you don't know what you're doing. Sir, I'm I need going you to, to leave. escort you off the premises, sir. You need to leave! <laughs> oh, okay, I'm doing the... I'm doing the, the slide. No, please. You need to leave! Just leave. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Get out to the Shadow Realm with you! <laughs> Did you hear that George Jetson was born today? Who is that? You don't know who George Jetson is? No. He's a scientist, I think. But how was he born today? He's a cartoon character, Jake. Oh. It was an Probably old cartoon show. called The Jetsons. Oh, about, about a yeah. family that like lived they're in like the futuristic. future. Yeah, yeah. They had flying cars. Which, like, I don't know how to feel about flying cars because there are some people who have licenses to drive that really shouldn't. Do we really want them operating a flying vehicle? <laughs> you know? Like, imagine if some of the people out driving on the road who clearly don't know what they're doing were in charge of, like, piloting a, a, a plane. Like yeah, like that that's a really scary thought, isn't it? I am so ready for self-driving cars though. If I never had to drive again Te in my Tesla, life, that Tesla would be pure bliss. Every time I get in a car and I'm the one behind the steering wheel, I'm like, I'm probably going to die. Out of here. It can never be opposite day, because if it was, it would be the opposite of the day. One time, this was a really long time ago, uh, the whole family, except for like, I think, I think mom, uh, we were all in the library, and for some reason we all decided that uh, it was like opposite day, um, <clears throat> and so we were like saying everything in opposites uh, wow. during our conversation. And then mom walks past the library, and she didn't, you know, she wasn't in on the conversation. And then I, 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 I looked at her, and uh, I, 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 I said, "Oh, I like your shirt, mom." Like being genuine. But it did. It, then it occurred to me, "Oh wait, it's opposite day." So I just accidentally told her that her shirt is awful. Then it looks really stupid, and yeah. everybody else realized it, like, at the same time I did, and we all started losing it. <laughs> Was that the part of 87? 
Have you seen that video? It's like this Friday Night Funkin' mod where the song is just Markiplier saying, was that the bite of 87? Uh, I'll just that, show it to oh, you, it's so funny. Is that the bite of 87? I showed it when, 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 uh, oh my gosh, when I first saw this, I was in a call with Frosty. It's the la- it's the hardest I've ever heard him laugh. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense! <laughs> Say that about popular video game boy, Clonoa. I don't think he's all that popular. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go victory. Go. Okay. Ooh, how do you like a dem apples? Get over here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. People, people like to make memes where like Carl Weezer like sings, uh, like I don't know, "Never Gonna Give You Up" or something, and they think it's so funny. Well, it's not. It's not funny. Carl Weezer is like bottom of the barrel humor. I despise You're Carl really Weezer. Like I, I despise Carl Weezer jokes more than I do like toilet humor. I was being hyperbolic for the sake of comedy. I don't actually feel that strongly about it, but I just, you know, I just don't like it. <laughs> Bacon pancakes turned 10 yesterday. No! Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Put the bacon out, put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes, that's what it's gonna make. Bacon pancakes! Oh yeah, so before we end, uh, I do feel that it is our duty to educate the audience a little bit about, uh, you know, Klonoa here, because uh, not a lot of people know what his deal is, like what what his uh, games are all about. So, uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh... He has a best friend, uh... Named... Okay, you want me to tell the story? Yeah, sure. Okay, so Klonoa was, uh, was born... Uh, with some magic powers, uh, and, um, he had a brother, and, uh, his magic powers let him conjure the powers, the, the, conjure forth, uh, ice and snow. And, uh, one time when they were playing, uh, Klonoa accidentally, um, froze, uh, their, their brother, uh, hit, like, hit their brother with, with, uh, what do you- no, just let me tell the story, okay? Um, and, uh, they- they went to some trolls, and the trolls helped, and the trolls said, Okay, but, like, don't freeze your brother's heart, Oh because, my gosh! Because, uh, you know, that- that will be very difficult to, uh, undo. Uh, and then Klonoa, like, got scared of their powers, so they started carrying this magic ring around that would, like, let them control their powers. Um, and, uh, the- the snow powers would now manifest as, like, green light, which is why, you know, you see a lot of green He's actually related his, to Green his, Lantern! Uh, all of his- well, yeah, I mean, that's- yeah, that's- that- all that- I was getting to that. So, uh, during the years of, uh, self- uh, self-inflicted exile from his brother, uh, Klonoa was visited by, uh, uh, one of the Green Lanterns who, who gave him the ring so that he could control his ice powers. Uh, only, uh, catch is that his ice powers now look green. Um, yeah. Yeah. But anyways, um... So 100% true story. Yeah, and so so some time passes, you know, a few years. Uh, Klonoa's brother meets this guy named Hans, and uh, you know the two of them really hit it off. Um, they finish each other's sandwiches. Uh, it's it's very romantic. Um, but Klonoa's brother, uh, who I, I don't believe we've uh, said the name of yet, uh, Klonoa's brother, uh, Bronoa. Um, Bro Noah uh, immediately wants to marry Hans, and Klonoa's like, you just met this guy, you know, I don't think that that's a good idea. Uh, Bro Noah gets really upset, and Klonoa in turn gets upset with Bro Noah, and uh, Klonoa accidentally 
uh, reveals their ice powers because they keep kept it a secret all these years. The people uh, are not too keen on their ruler having these m mysterious powers, uh, so they they chase Klonoa out of town. Uh, Klonoa retreats to a a tall mountain where they they sing a song. It was a, honestly uh, it, it was a really popular song, especially with the kids for a, a very long time. Yeah. Um, what it's no, what it's no, what it's <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, and you might you might think, well, Klonoa, you know, living up in that that cold mountain, you know, might that might get kind of chilly, like uncomfortable. But uh, to quote Klonoa, the cold never bothered him. Any, but yeah, the yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what he said. The clone, the cold never the cold never bothered him anyway. So. Uh, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, everything, everything's a okay. Everything is awesome. Yeah. So, uh, Bro Noah goes on this uh, journey to to find Clonoa and like uh, bring Clonoa back to the kingdom uh, to clear everything up. Uh, along the way, uh, Bro Noah meets uh, this 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 guy. Uh, and his charming reindeer. Uh, their names are Kristoff. No, and... no, no, no. <laughs> Stop bothering to come up with a <laughs> fancy name. Uh, the reindeer's name was Ten, and uh, yeah, so it was uh, Ten and pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, he was like, he was always really mad. Yeah. All the time. Um, and on their journey, they also uh, meet a, a snowman named Josh Gad. Eventually, they find Clonoa, and Clonoa uh, accidentally uh, freezes Bronoa's heart and, and feels very bad about it. Um, and, I mean, this, this is getting a bit long-winded, so just to sum it up, uh, <clears throat> Clonoa figures out uh, that... Uh, uh, brotherly love is the way to thaw uh, Bronoa's frozen heart, and then they all live happily ever after. Also, Hans was a bad guy for some reason. That was yeah. I, I yeah, he never that. he never liked the sandwich that Bronoa made. Yeah, yeah. So it was, was a so was he a was like, betrayal. I'm going to jail for fun. <laughs> I'm going to jail where I won't have to eat your awful sandwiches anymore. I prefer to be in prison than eat your sandwiches. And Bronoa was like, hey, screw you, Hans. You're not, you're not cool. And then Pissed Off was like, hey, I mean, I, I, I like sandwiches. And then the two of them got married. And everyone lived happily ever after. Yeah. The end. Klonoa 2? <laughs> in Klonoa 2? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't go on with this any longer. It was blatantly obvious from the start which Disney movie we were spoofing this time. <laughs> I like how that's just what we do. If, if there's a character that like we just don't know the story of, we just, we just make up. A, we just Disney we just story. steal a Disney story. <laughs> yeah, next next time we should do Monsters Inc. Oh my gosh! Well, we can't now. 